Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this video and I still am a little bit ill so sorry if there are sniffles in the background. I will try and cut it up the best I can because I remember in yesterday's video there was a little bit in there but I mean I'm trying because I am slowly recovering. I feel like today is a little bit better. It's just still whenever I look down it is absolutely annoying and today I actually won my second game of the day on Fortnite Battle Royale and I was actually using the Deadeye skin with the Fallen Wings back bling the dark axe pickaxe as well and the one shot glider i mean you probably didn't even see that i should have really won my first game of the day because i choked really really badly i really hate the snowballs that have come back in the game because as you guys know when you chuck the snowball at a wall and if you're in it it will literally damage you quite a lot and that's what happened one of the guys actually did damage me and it was really really annoying that i came across that and i should have won that game but i needed more minis i needed a spare shield and everything like that but so far my my day has been alright. I haven't played too much of Fortnite just because I'm trying to recover. I've just been taking like loads of medicine to try to help me. But my account level is 278 as well. Or no, not my account level. My level in uh, chapter 2 is 278. And my account level is 967. Which again, I don't think is too bad. Also new in the store, there's loads of Star Wars skins. You can get a Star Wars skin pack bundle which is 3,500 V-Bucks. If you are picking anything up new in the item shop please do use code taro it will be on the screen as always in my videos it'll mean a lot if you do i thought what skin to use because i haven't used the dead eye skin in a while and as you guys know yesterday i think it was or the day after i made a video about my top three skins and i don't really have top five skins maybe this is my top four skin because he has the no hat style ages and ages ago i made a video i think about a month ago or maybe two months ago that i made a video saying the dead fire will be getting a no hat style and that didn't end up happening but then the dead eye skin came out and you could have the no hat so i mean it's weird how fortnite done that i'm just enjoying the rest of the day i'm going to try and recover hopefully i'm not ill on my birthday which is the 23rd of december and right now of recording this it's the 13th i believe and by the time you're watching this it's like two days later or something like that can i just say thank you for the support recently on my videos you guys are literally killing it yesterday's update day you killed it by getting over 100 views i was really really surprised because a lot of you were at school i didn't know that and i was just surprised to see all the support in general on my videos and we are getting closer to 900 subscribers as well now let's talk about today's thumbnail and title i've been meaning to make a video on this for quite a while because i think you guys have noticed that i have a new method of me winning in fortnite as well when it does actually work i don't know if it's in some videos i'm pretty sure i've shown it in most most of my recent videos now as you probably saw towards end games and that is just building sometimes one triangle even if it's just a random triangle somewhere and if you're in the zone on the end game most people don't actually shoot at it it's really really easy to kind of just like trick the players sometimes i'll place like multiple triangles sometimes i'll place a triangle in the building and i'll place like loads and i'm hoping for the best that you won't know that i'm there half the time they don't even know you're there to be honest with you i think it's a really really cool technique if you really want to win if you're in a sort of top five situation i would say that's when you should sort of start to use it or maybe top seven i would say maybe top eight it just depends on where you are if you have to go really far to the zone or if you have to just you know go like i said go far to the zone if you're already in the zone i would say just collect on materials if you don't have enough already i would say have quite a lot of materials i would have i would say have over 500 metal 500 wood 500 brick as well i would say try and be a max everything if you can or at least be a max on two things it just makes it really really easy for end games because obviously as you guys know at end games you you should be using metal or brick i normally use brick first because the reason why i use brick first is just to get the brick out of the way and then uh, that's when i'll switch to metal or if i have enough brick i'll use that because normally i like to be on about 500 brick or so or something like that and what i would do is sometimes i would place loads of one by ones i think you've seen me do this before i place loads of one by ones at end games and then i would actually sit in the triangle uh, itself that is literally just the one triangle and half the time if it comes to a heal off if you have bandages if you have floppers if you have a bandage bazooka for some reason which i've never really used yet at in game but if you have those three you are most likely guaranteed to win do not use med kits because at end zone literally the med kits won't work because it's a 10 tick zone and then obviously it's more after that i'm just trying to give you my tips of winning in this season because i know it's a bit stale i mean we have literally just had an update day but it's still a little bit stale i mean i'm glad that they fixed the fps because yesterday after the update drops my 
FPS was just horrifically bad. It was literally like one or 30 FPS. It felt really, really bad. But hopefully these tips did help you, you know, try and win more in Fortnite Chapter 2. I feel like most people don't do that. I think the only time they do that if they're playing arena mode. And even if you're just playing casually like me and you just want to get that one win easy ASAP, just don't choke it like I did on my first game because I should have won my first game of the day. So let me know what you do at Endgame. Do you kind of push people? Do you kind of just sit in your box like I do? Do you kind of wait to come people to you or is it to do with the zone? Are you not in the zone and then do you have to go out of the zone kind of thing? I'm going to end today's video here then guys. Please do leave a like, subscribe, turn on my notifications. I upload every day at 6pm or before or after and I shall see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.